Good morning. In this week's Block News, Alan Rickman reads the latest Gutenberg review, a magazine block theme is released, I take a look at a new plugin for food bloggers, and as Norin releases a super lightweight theme, a quick demo of my favourite gallery block plugin, and my daughter jumps off the highest bungee in South America. Three, two, one, bungee! Let's get newsy. Time for block news. It's news about blocks. As you probably already know, if you subscribe to this channel, I like to keep my eye on the latest Gutenberg reviews. This week is a one star review written by somebody called at Ven Stone. And as ever, by the magic of AI, it's read for us by Alan Rickman. We had to switch to Gutenberg due to another plugin making it a requirement. After four months fighting with it, I don't have a single positive thing to say. It's buggy. Almost everything requires extra steps. At best, it is the classic editor with a bunch of extra steps thrown in. So a pretty damning review, but beautifully read by Alan Rickman. If you want to take any of the themes or plugins that I'm about to show you for a test spin, I've set you up a free website which you can access with one click. Link is in the description below. You can also sign up for my newsletter in that link below. But let's take a look at this new magazine theme. What I like about this is that most of the full site editing themes that have been released so far are pretty simple one column themes that you tend to use for blogging. This theme is called Gutenfy and it comes with a classic column layout that you typically find in magazine themes and it makes great use of the query loop block. I'm going to do a more in-depth review in the next couple of weeks of Gutenfy but if you want to test it out for yourselves today you can download it from wordpress.org there's a link in the description below or if you want to test it out very quickly just hit the one click website link also in the description below. The team at WP Zoom have released a new plugin specifically for food bloggers. It's actually a whole bunch of block patterns. Block patterns are pre-designed layouts using core Gutenberg blocks that let you quickly assemble pages using just blocks. Again, there's a link in the description below and I've pre-installed it on your one-click website, link in description below. It's incredibly simple to use and there's some really nice designs in here. So if you are into building a food blog, it's definitely worth checking out. To use it, just install the plugin then you'll see this little icon up here. Click on that little dinner plate icon. That's gonna load in a preview of all the blocks that are currently available within the Block Patterns for Food Bloggers plugin. You'll see them here. So if you wanna add one of these to your page, you just click on it and that'll insert that pattern into your page. Again, because it's patterns, let's click on the list view and see what we've got here. You see it's just using core Gutenberg blocks. So if you wanna jump in here, you can change any of this text here and you can change all the designs and you can change all the pictures, everything, because we're just using Gutenberg blogs. Everything is editable. And as Norin, one of my favorite theme designers, released a brand new block theme this week called Davis Blocks. Its focus is on being as lightweight as possible and it weighs in at just 248 kilobytes. In comparison, last time I looked at Divi, it was over 50 megabytes. Anders tried to make use of the power of theme.json as much as possible and Davis Block contains no JavaScript, only 50 lines of PHP, and only 250 lines of CSS. You can download it for free now from wordpress.org and you can also test it out on the one-click website link below. The Meow Gallery and Gallery Block plugin has had an update this week. This is probably my favorite Gutenberg Gallery Block plugin. It's free to download from wordpress.org. If you want to test it out, there's a one-click website link below. It also has some of the best plugin artwork out there. It's got this fantastic cartoon cat. It's super easy to use. Here's an example of it. You just add your images and then you get these different layouts. So it's very, very simple to use. I'm going to be doing a more in-depth tutorial on how to set up a photography blog in the next few weeks, which will include things like this. Also auto posting from your phone and also integrating and auto syncing from Lightroom directly into WordPress. So keep your eye out for that. And finally, that bungee jump video, not strictly blocks related, but Meg's my eldest daughter, who's responsible for the block news theme tune, sent us a WhatsApp message this week, just about how she was getting on in Costa Rica, and then casually embedded this video of her doing this bungee jump. So we had no idea she'd done it. We were just scrolling through the messages, looking at these happy faces. And then here was that video. Barefoot, Megan. Oh my God. My wife Rosie actually thought we were about to see a Zipwire video, so you can imagine her feelings as Megs fell off the end of that platform into the abyss. 
So there we go. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, if you can hit the like button now, that would be amazing because it really, 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 really does help spread the word of the channel. And also, as you probably know by now, every time you do hit that like button, our cats get a little treat. If you want to see more videos about Gutenberg and WordPress, hit that subscribe button down below and you'll be notified every time I release a new one. Keep well, and I'll see you soon.